guys, um, welcome to another video by Valley Crew. Um, if you don't already know, my name is Trey, and um, this is my 2015 Focus ST. And today we were going to be talking about um, ethanol and uh, what it can do, with, like the benefits, and like pretty much what it is, and why you would run it in a turbocharged car specifically. I mean, for naturally aspirated cars, it's a lot different, just because. Um, Ethanol, really, you really see the benefits of it with uh, higher compression, so boost is a perfect scenario where you, ethanol would actually come in handy. But this car uh, runs on E30, so it's not quite full E85, and I'll go into detail about like what E85 actually is and how it's actually beneficial for a turbocharged car or any car in general, so yeah. Uh, to put it short, E85 is pretty much, um, it's a fuel that is 85% uh, denatured ethanol, which is, you know, it, it's derived from corn, so that's why a lot of people have corn fed on their cars, all that stuff, but um, it's 85% denatured uh, ethanol, and then 15% roughly, like, it's, it's not always going to be perfect, but in a general scheme, E85 is 85% ethanol, and then 15% gasoline or... Uh, other hydrocarbon you can really get down to it you know on a, on a chemical level with the uh, chemical composition between E85 and gasoline um, they're very different and they're um, the properties are it's, it varies heavily when it comes to the, like the burn of each different fuel and that, that's where it comes in handy when it comes to performance the different types of burns the higher octane you can get so the higher boost pressures you can run and therefore you know make more power. So a good way to think of it, um, ethanol is a lot slower burning than um, uh, gasoline. Typical gasoline like 91 like we have here in California, we don't really have anything higher than that unfortunately. But um, if you have access to ethanol it's actually pretty cool because you can actually benefit from it um, and we'll go into that later. But um, this car in particular runs on E30 so like I said it's not full E85, so it's not going to be 85% ethanol, it's actually going to be running on 30% ethanol, and then the rest is going to be the gasoline. So, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, carry one of these around if you're going on long distance trips, because it takes a lot more ethanol fuel um, to make power than it does with gasoline. So you're going to be going through a lot more fuel, per se, and, I mean, but in the end, you're going to be increasing performance and efficiency of you know the uh, the fuel burning so in essence it's kind of worth it if you're not going to be driving long distances but if you are you should probably maybe consider tuning for 90 or gasoline instead of a e85 if you don't have access to it but if you do then great it's it's a great fuel i highly recommend it especially for this car because considering it is turbocharged you do uh, see a lot of benefits with that and we'll get into that right now so, when the question comes up, what does E85 do to your car that makes it, you know, perform better than it would on 91, per se? I mean, granted, there are some cars that do run great on 91 fuel, but sometimes you, you run into a situation where you, you need the increase in octane to, you know, boost your boost pressure. You don't have access to race fuel all the time. So, ethanol is a great way to increase the octane of your fuel, therefore allowing you to push more pounds of boost and you know to you know push that knock limit further when and say you're able to advance timing significantly significantly uh, more than if you were to be running on 91 fuel and I feel like that is one of the main um, benefits of it because you can gain a lot more power and ethanol it's great because it naturally it just runs cooler than 91 would so any additive of E85 in any way will decrease the temperature of your combustion which ultimately adds more power and it helps with the heat of uh, that your engine creates it, it lowers the heat that your engine creates so it's actually really cool in both of those aspects so I I love E85 I mean I don't run full 85 like I said but even that E30 that 30% mixture really makes a huge difference like this car is um, it's big turbo and it has the auxiliary fuel from Stratified, which we can get to that in a later video. There's just so much we can talk about. But I saw a significant increase of power and you know responsiveness when I switched from the 91 fuel to the E30. It was like a 40 horsepower difference. And I didn't think it was gonna be that much, but it really is. 
And it all, like I said, it, it all depends on, you know, who, who's tuning the car. It all depends on who is doing all the tuning on your car. And, I mean, if you have a good tuner, they'll be able to optimize that kind of power out of your car using the E30 or, you know, some people go E40, E50 even. But then you start running into fuel delivery issues. Is the pump powerful enough to uh, um, pump enough fuel, ethanol, into the combustion chamber? Um, that is uh, an issue that a lot of people run into because, like I said earlier, it takes a lot more E85 to burn as efficient as 91 will. You know, it, it takes a lot more fuel to get the results that you want. So in the end, you're going to be going through a lot more and you're going to need to have the proper machinery to pump more fuel to the combustion chamber. So another thing to keep in mind as well when you are switching to ethanol being fuel, um, you have to think about, you know, the way the fuel is getting to the combustion chamber. So all of your fuel lines have to be compatible for that type of fuel because ethanol naturally it's corrosive to most, you know, standard materials used for fuel lines. So, you know, switching to a dash line that's uh, graded for you're running E85, that would be probably the best solution. Um, fortunately enough, this car, actually, I haven't had any problems with fuel lines, so I mean, we're kind of in the clear at that point. But, that isn't the only problem that you're going to run into. A lot with most cars, uh, when you start running E85 mixtures, uh, you have to increase the injector size because of the, the more demand of fuel that the engine requires because of the E85. So you have to keep in mind that, you know, Certain factory injectors, you know, like slightly oversized injectors from factory won't always work when you're running this type of fuel. And it's just because of that, that added um, demand for fuel that the engine requires to burn efficiently and safely. I mean, it, these cars, they're, they're awesome. They're, they're direct injected. So like the, from what I read, I'm not, I can't claim this as a fact, but from factory, I read that these cars come with 1500 cc injectors being direct injected I mean like you're able to get a lot more fuel than your, your typical um, road car uh, port injection road car um, these cars run a lot higher uh, fuel pressure levels so I mean it's able to support that added fuel and that added demand for the fuel so that's another reason why I decided to go with the auxiliary fuel because it adds even that more fuel to the air fuel mixture keeping it safe under boost which is why I'm able to hit um, like a hair under 30 psi of boost it's crazy so in my opinion I feel like it's definitely worth it to invest in that tune to get you you know that much more power gains and you know run that much more efficiently yes you're gonna go through fuel a lot faster but at the same time you're gonna get all the benefits of running E85, cooler burn, you know, um, more power, safer combustion, because it's preventing knock from happening with the lower octane fuels because it's increasing the octane substantially. So, yeah, I mean, I've had the e E30 tune for over a year now, and I haven't had any issues with, you know, engine problems or anything like that. Granted, I don't run the car super hard, but I do plan to in the future with uh you know road racing but for daily driving i don't see a problem with it i think it's pretty cool you can have the power you want you know the efficiency you want and it's a great great decision so uh we've already discussed this in um other videos but my method of tuning was the uh access port cob access port it's a great product wonderful product um i've had this ever since i pretty much got my car and I would highly recommend that if anybody's modifying these cars, or if you have this car and you're modifying it, um, I highly suggest that that's your first modification. Just because every other piece that you put onto your car is going to require the proper tuning to run as efficiently as it possibly can. And one thing that you want to stray away from is the off-the-shelf tunes. Um, yeah, we, we've discussed in later or earlier videos that um, there's been, you know, plenty of stories about people blowing up their engines because of running an off-the-shelf tune because they're it's not optimized for the, the modifications they have done to their car and every car runs different so it, it's very very critical that you find somebody to tune the car based on the way it's, it runs the conditions that you live in like you could, you could be at a higher altitude than what the off-the-shelf 
tune would require and you know it could just run different it's just a lot better to have a professional tune your car based on where you live the conditions you're going to be you know driving in and the modifications you have done to your car it's just 100 percent better like for instance people that you know race cars for a living um they'll modify tunes every day they'll mo they'll take the car out they'll adjust it for you know temperature uh air density um altitude uh humidity all that all of those little you know factors that come into play with how the engine runs they will adjust it based on the exact conditions and get it to run perfectly exactly the way they want it and that's just it's so important to have that it's it, it really adds to the reliability that you have with the car and i I couldn't stress enough that you need to have a professional tune your car. It might not, you might not be able to do it every day or every week or every month, but it's just a lot safer to be able to have a professional look at the way your car is running and dial it in based on the data he is receiving and the parameters he is looking at. Um, I don't want to scare anybody away to thinking that E85 or E30 for this car is beneficial only for big turbo. It really isn't. It, it's it's beneficial even if you have the smaller turbo, like massively beneficial. You will see an increase in power and efficiency through, with the engine. And you will see a noticeable temperature difference as well when it comes to the, um, the combustion in your engine. So, I don't want to stray anybody away from doing it if they really want to, even if you do have a smaller turbo. It really does make a huge difference. And trust me, it really does. The numbers that I had, even, even though I am big turbo, like the numbers that I had when I had when I was when the car was running on 91 compared to the numbers I had or the feeling not even the numbers I don't really like looking at numbers because in the end it really de depends on how the car drives and how it feels to you personally so I noticed a huge difference in you know power and efficiency from 91 going to E30 it was just it was a no-brainer for me another thing to mention as well um, my, when my tuner told me uh, what to do when it comes to filling up the car he recommended well this is pretty much like gonna get you your measurement so if you don't have access to like the pump directly or you're not at the pump and you're just at a 91 gas station you have one of these or say you are at a gas station and it does sell 85 um, my tuner he recommended four gallons of e85 and then you fill your tank up with 91 fuel and that's how I've been doing it ever since I got this tune and I feel like, you know, that's the, the most accurate way right now to judge the mixture based on, you know, how full the tank is. And you have to make sure you, it sucks because you can only fill up when your car is almost empty. You can't just like, oh, like, uh, I'm at a half tank. I got to fill up. I'm going to go somewhere. Like, that's why this comes in handy. So it, that is inconvenient in itself. But at the same time, it's really worth it when you think about it. Depending on the person, obviously, you know, if you don't want to go out of your way and do all that, then you'll stick to 91. But if you feel the difference, you, you may understand why so many people <laughs> switch over to eth running ethanol in their, their cars. And, I mean, pretty much, uh, in summary, uh, E85 is, you know, it's 85% ethanol and then 15% gasoline or any other hydrocarbon. And... It offers, you know, so many benefits. Cooler burn, uh, more efficient burn. Uh, it, it lowers your your knock limit, and well, it actually raises the knock limit, but like in a way where you can advance more timing. Um, and it's just, it's just fun. You get you get an added boost of power, and you know, it's it's not really that hard of a modification. It just takes a really good tuner. So, with that being said, uh, hope this was informative. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, you guys all, all you guys out there thinking about running E30 or, you know, an ethanol mixture. I hope you guys are, you know, I guess, educated after watching this video and can make a final decision whether or not you want to switch over to this method of feeling or if you want to stick to 91 or 93 or whatever your state or country offers. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe and if you want, you can hit the notification bell. That way we, you'll get notifi notified every time we post a video. And uh, we do actually have an Instagram if you want to follow us. It's valley.underscore.crew. 
So, I mean, that's, uh, we'll put it like right here or something. But that's how you can find us on Instagram. So if you're willing to follow us there, that'd be great and keep up with like all of our builds and everything that's going on. That'd be awesome. So uh, thank you and we'll see you in the next video.